Jim, I want to ask you because there, there are clearly out there very, I'll say a lot of uh, less experienced law firm owners than, than my new friend, Jonathan, who are trying to, or hoping to, to have the, at least a similar career that Jonathan has had. Where, where can they start? What, what kind of systems can they put in place? What kind of mindset should they adopt to um, get on the right path? Because it's not about, like you've said, it's about longevity. There's no quick fix. There's no, um, we're not going to turn you into a million dollar law firm overnight. But where where can they start? Yeah, this is um, this has been one of the most painful things for us as an agency over our history is that everybody tends to look at a marketing company as the solution for everything. And it is the solution for very few things, actually. It's the solution to getting a phone to ring or to to, you know, ideally grow top line revenue. But it doesn't manage your employees. Marketing doesn't manage your employees. It doesn't have anything to do with your operational efficiency or effectiveness. And I think that those are things that firms will repeatedly and consistently try to solve everything by just having more leads come in. And I think that that's a thing that we're seeing, we are seeing a slow evolution away from that thinking where more people are coming to us with a a better table setting of operational standards than they did in the past. Um, for a long time, we we used to just not work with folks that were just like, oh yeah, I have, I have no interest in ever setting up a CRM or I have no interest in doing this type of thing. Um, and granted, if this was 10 years ago, like maybe that was that was okay because it, no, nobody really had them. It's like, yeah, I have a Google sheet or a spreadsheet. I keep my clients in and things like that. So um, it, it's that, that mistake of, it is a business and any other business, you wouldn't just start marketing right away. You would, what systems am I going to run on? How am I going to, whether you think scale is growing to three attorneys or growing to 50 attorneys, like you can't, at some point it breaks after one person can't do all the work. And the more a firm thinks about that at the beginning and they start to plan for that. So they don't have to bang their head against the wall when the pain points come just because they, they come predictably and our business has done the same thing. Like, the pain points come predictably with certain growth measurements, certain things that we, we do. Um, so that it's really, it sounds really simple, but the operational piece is so critical to success. I mean, and Jonathan and I have experienced this together of just there's, we're not doing a whole lot differently now from the standpoint of like investment or really even tactics, but he's made really big, strides as far as how he runs his firm over the last five years that have allowed him to become a much more profitable firm. And it's, it's not like he was yelling at me to do better. He was just saying, well, he recognized the problem as being rooted in operations. And we certainly had things that we could have done better too, but like sometimes your marketing partners can can be that. I think that's a little bit more rare. And like, I'm glad we, we get to do that with some of our clients, but operations, like op- operations is usually your marketing problem, unless your marketing folks are really inept. But if they're d- driving calls, it's probably an operations thing. 